So welcome to Night Hacking at the DevOps Conference. I'm joined by Sven Reimers, who is um, a longtime NetBeans advocate, um, just joined, created a new user group, Jug Bodense. Yeah. Did I say that's that right. right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Near Lake Constance in Germany. That's really awesome. Um, a, little, a little farther in the camera, Heckler. You have to, you have to make your, th your <laughs> thumbs up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thanks. Um, and what sort, of, what sort of cool stuff are you up to? So what we uh, did for DevOps was a, uh, creating a, uh, a tweet wall. So and, uh, it was quite quite fun project. So um, that was the challenge put out to um, to do some well some clone of a, uh, a flashy thing from the internet. Yeah. And, and to realize it in JavaFX. So um, we just a, uh, started doing things and uh, thought well we might do 3D stuff. And that was it was nice, but I'm um, probably a bit, bit bit too advanced, a bit too well, not so good readable, nice graphics, but probably not so good yeah, for, no, for, so for the, invitation. The 3D, the 3D version I saw was really cool, but um, it was something which only, only kids with <laughs> who love psychedelic colors could really, could really love. Was this the old version, the TweetWall FX that I'm looking so, at? So, or? so there's, there are old versions in the, the TweetWall FX What's the newest, repo. what's the latest one? Oh, it's in, it's in there. This one, TweetWall yeah, FX? Yeah, well, that's fine. Okay. So there are all versions in there. So just just for kicks, we are we are cloning the repo on the fly, and we're going right. to see if we can make cool stuff happen while we're chatting. So just you know, keep okay. the, keep the stream so going. Talk <laughs> about how great it is. All right. So so I'm after figuring out that 3D would probably not be a good option for presenting the the information. Um, we got back to the original idea of trying to to clone this uh, uh, tag cloud layout stuff. And um, so uh, I went on the internet trying to figure out some algorithm how to do this. So yeah. um, uh, and there were just spar information about well, yeah, you just have to well look at it, and then you have to try to not overlay the different things, and then uh, check for intersects and uh, do spiral out, and then yeah, well, you're done. No magic in there. <laughs> I said okay. So uh, I tried to follow the rules, found some some bits and pieces of the algorithm, and um, yeah, not so bad. So and then I. Uh, I tried to do all the same uh, moving transitions, animation stuff, and uh, it took some time. And uh, I got help from uh, Jose Pereira and uh, from Sean Phillips and uh, from uh, Jason. Yeah, Jason no, those guys. Polistry. Those guys are really good. Yeah, so and, uh, they all helped out, and uh, so yeah, we we managed to finish it uh, uh, here at the Hacker Garden at Devox. So I uh, just made it in time um, to put it on the walls. So and uh, yeah, Stefan was quite glad to to have the new version up and running. Yeah, no, it's cool that you actually had a real JavaFX application. It's actually, they, they've been preferring these funky, crippled HTML5 UIs on the, on the screens for a while, which is really sad. So I'm glad that we're actually um, getting some new stuff. It's Java, Java 8? Yeah, it should be uh, Java 8. So just go there. There's one import that's probably, uh, if you don't have an uh, AQ40, just a, uh, for uh, those the accessible you attributes. you don't know so, what's yeah. going on right now, Okay, so yeah, Steve we should. Steve is trying to compile the project. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Java 7. <laughs> and there's lambdas in there. Let's see how this works. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Kirk, for um, pointing out the futility yeah. of using the wrong version of Java with the tweet wall. So maybe I should um, change my source version. So Steve is now into the configuration property sheet. Well, I, I he's put it just up on changed screen. the configuration can, to 1.9, yeah. and he's going over to the accept button, and <laughs> now he's hit the compile button. And will it compile? Not no. Yet. So just a, uh, go to the um, go here. Not as exciting uh, as the game. Get rid of the import. That's just a yeah. <laughs> Looking really good here. And then you probably need some a uh, oh some keys. Keys. If you want to run them. If I want to run it, what do I need a key? Yeah, because you need to access Twitter. <laughs> you probably need keys for Twitter. So there, there are keys for Twitter oh, on the USB keys, stick. Keys for Twitter, I have to import. Okay. So just don't pull the wrong cable. So when we go offline. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, tweet wall effects. Oh, you could try that one as well. That's that's like cheating. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I would never suggested it, but. Uh, um, 
Where, where'd we go? Is it the same same one? Yeah. Okay. Let's not let's not cheat at all here. Let's keep this real. Let's see. It should be up running full screen. Real hackers don't cheat. Real hackers <laughs> don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, it's not like. Yeah, oh. Okay. Yeah, some BM crash. There's a seg V in there. Yeah. So, are there keys inside of this? Yeah. You said? There should be keys inside there. Uh, where do I want to go? Uh, yeah, I think it's Mac and then oh, it's resources. I don't know. Let's see. Probably it's resources. No, that's uh, the icons. Um, Java. Yeah, in the tweet full of X jar. The, are there the keys? In inside of this jar. Yeah, inside of this jar. Uh, okay. What do you say? I would have done it. <laughs> just just trying to get it running. There you go. Not the jar launcher. Archive utility? Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. There you are. So then you. Yeah, uh, okay. There we go. Go there. Twitter. And then copy the uh, OAuth properties and don't show them on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get all the beans. So. I was always frightened someone would just a uh, just accidentally hit commit on the other properties and committing it to GitHub. <laughs> Better than what he did, where he's trying to live stream. All right, where, do I, where do I dump before. it? Source. Uh, same place. Tweet wall. Tw Twitter, 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 and just override the, the existing file. Okay. So Sven, what's the name of your first dog? Sorry. What was the name of your first dog? A dog. Your first dog. Your first pet. No dog. What was the name of your no dog? Pet? No pet. No pets. No pets. No dogs. No, no nothing. No cats. <laughs> Sorry. You just you just don't do the pet thing. You're like yeah. Nope, nope. So so probably your first pet was a C64. <laughs> Terrible. Can't get a password out of anyone. Okay. What do we got here? Invocation, target exception. Input stream must not be null. Tag um, cloud, uh, .jpg. No. You need that resource. That should everything be in there. You're sure you... Uh, oh, wait. No, that's the wrong project. Sorry. Tech cloud. Yeah, tech cloud. And now run, just, just try to run tech cloud. The tech cloud project. Yeah, so just, just, right just run, right -click run on the file. There you go. Down. And we're off. Oh, oh. We got okay. stuff. So uh, this was not the version running on the wall, so. Um, All right. I think this calls for a beer. We got something a, uh, running. It seems not to be. Uh, Cheers. Getting data from from Twitter. So, so for whatever's the reason, the so what's going on? It's not pulling data from Twitter. No, it doesn't seem to pull. Scroll okay. up. Scroll. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to. We we've deprived people of, of seeing our, our you know shiny faces for a while here. So I'm gonna <laughs> rejigger the stream. <laughs> So we show All right, up so we're back. over there and over there, and we're back. OK, so what am I supposed to be doing here? Um, bad authentication data. So. Um, oh, is that the credentials I? Yeah. I so this in? should um, try, to, try to rebuild the, um, the project once. OK. So maybe it has to copy the, uh, the files. Uh, Clean up our project. Clean. Shift eleven, shift F eleven, yeah. So uh, 
And this is the guy I wanted to run? Yeah. That one. Is it done rebuilding? Yeah, it's already creating the DMG, so it should be fine to, to go. Oh, it's a nice yeah. little wavy background. Yeah, so that was the uh, experiment doing a, uh, a 3D mesh, putting some ripples on it, oh. having some frequencies and uh, wavelengths for, for, um, for changing it. But that version never went live, so... Um, okay, we're still having the so same it seems, issue. So it seems uh, uh, Twitter is not accepting the keys, huh? Yeah, still bad authentication data. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so maybe we can check the disk folder and see what's actually getting copied over. Yeah. Oh, um, it probably hasn't been copied in as part of the build. Yeah, maybe. The resources sometimes aren't copied in. Maybe. It depends on how, yeah. how you set up your builds, Fen. You're right. So typically it just works out of the box. <laughs> on your machine, yeah. Yeah, and on the machine of the other developers as well. So, um. so you, you actually have this set up to build a, a DMG then? Yeah. Also. That's cool. So, um, but it didn't help me for installing it here because it was running on a Windows 32-bit Windows 7 machine <laughs> with no JDK 8 on it. So, um, sweet. And I, uh, it had an internet connection, but you couldn't access that. So, um, you're just putting everything there by hand and then try Off to run it. Yeah. So, um, okay. so there's no such thing as a continuous deployment here. So, besides, if you think running around um, uh, trying to get okay. a new version on so it is a continuous deployment. So, so how did you actually get this to create the DMG for you then? Is there a NetBeans plugin for that? No, so that's the, uh, the uh, JavaFX packager oh, who's, the Java who's, who's, okay. who's able to do this and I, uh, you can just add a, uh, a small flag, small thing in the build file so it's just producing the DMG and if you're in a Windows machine it would produce an uh, a exe file if you got the, um, the, cr the, the correct installer tools installed on your machine. So um, building a DMG and building a, a, a Debian package is quite easy. Getting a Windows installer probably is a bit more more difficult. More but um, people are working on get, on ruling this out. So I think it's a, a Deno. Deno's doing a lot of work for packaging stuff. And now the, the thing called JavaFX Packager is uh, now the Java okay. Packager. And I, I know what happened. Um, so we copied it from the DMG file, which got built and got automatically launched. We didn't copy it from your USB stick before. Okay, so take that so one from the, the USB the stick. The one we actually copied over was the, the wrong one. Um, That's pretty cool. But yeah, no, thanks, thanks for, thanks for taking over the interviewing there, <laughs> Mr. Michael, while I was <laughs> busy figuring out what we messed up. <laughs> Should I leave? <laughs> no, no, that was that was a genuine thanks, like you know. Oh, okay. Usually, usually hecklers are there to destroy your presentation, <laughs> not to, <laughs> not to, help, not to you. help you recover. I can do that too if you like. It's no problem. <laughs> Gee, that's a fantastic uh, stream of tweets there. <laughs> What's the throughput on this thing? <laughs> yeah, so. error potential. Uh, so they don't like it. <laughs> I'm can we sure. have fries with that? <laughs> <laughs> Did I dump it in the right place here? <laughs> so there are. Um, Definitely are. The build might not have picked up the key. Three. Oh, when yeah, it maybe. did the copy over, right, from the uh, source directories? Yeah, so maybe just a... Uh, so maybe yeah, you have to build. manually put it into the uh, build directories. Sh shouldn't be necessary. <laughs> maybe you have to <laughs> put it pick manually up my build. <laughs> into the build directories. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think, I think we got a hint from our heckler. <laughs> That maybe we should copy it manually into the build directory. Yeah, let's just see how well that works out. And see how well that works out. <laughs> we might get an infinite improvement in throughput here. Where we would get an infinite improvement in throughput. <laughs> okay, so I, d I did one more clean build. We'll give that a try. And if that doesn't work, we will, we will listen to the heckler. Oh, actually, probably run file also is not the mm. right thing to do. Right. Oh, Yay. Yay! We got it. I was gonna there say, go. so there I, was you gonna, go. I was gonna say, who taught you how to tweet? Your grandma or what? <laughs> 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 so if you're uh, online oh, and listening, and yeah. you're uh, tweeting with hashtag devox, you might just show up in the live stream. Yeah. 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 All right. So this is really cool. Here, let me tweet yeah. something here now. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Virtual cheers. Virtual cheers. Yeah, because you didn't bother getting any beer for the heckler. 
Yeah, so that yeah. probably would have gotten us in the um, yeah. taken out to the river. We would have been left to dry out by the river by the, the Belgian so, Mafia. So, Sven, you've, you've been working on a lot of stuff with FX in the last year or so. Yeah? Yeah. What, what is it, what, give us a hint as to what else uh, you've been hacking away on with FX. Um, so... There was a, um, I did some uh, EFX stuff, but that's a, uh, that's a bit longer ago. So I'm going to try to to build a kind of um, application framework, similar to what NetBeans is doing, but not using Swing, but using JavaFX. Yeah. Um, I, I still think there is a, yeah, there's a need for that. So um, you don't want to write your own, uh, well, your new stage, and uh, you just want to plug in your things. So um, maybe I'm just a, uh, trying to get this a bit uh, dusted off and... Uh, Get working on it again, and um, so what else was there? So um, I did some a uh, graph layout things with a uh, based on the Jung, Jung library, Jung library, um, uh, there's still way to improve that one as well. So um, getting observable graphs, but I think a uh, Michael Hoffer already has something that's a going quite in a similar direction, and he's now trying to port over the uh, the Jung layout algorithms. So um, maybe. We can just join forces there and uh, try to get it in one place. Cool. So that might be nice. So yeah, that's probably much. Uh, I think the the big JavaX things I was doing. So um. you were trying something with Visual VM also. Ah yeah. So um, <laughs> thanks. So um, yeah, what I did was um, uh, creating a uh, Visual VM clone. All right, I'm just gonna <laughs> we'll swap here. <laughs> <and scare. laughs> I was trying to create a, uh, a Visual VM clone, uh, uh, pulling the um, typical VM parameters and uh, displaying them with a uh, JavaX charts. So um, that was pretty, pretty simple thing, but um, it was quite a CPU intensive, I remember. Last time yes. we, we had a look at it. Yeah. So um, maybe we should have a look at it again and uh, figure out what was going wrong. So, um, well, that was the bad Java to FX interface at that time, yeah? There was a bad bridge. M might be, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so. so we, let's say... Uh, yeah, might have a look at it. So, um, cool. let's see. So, uh, I have to come up with some uh, some neat idea for a presentation for second uh, of December. That will be a NetBeans Day in Munich. Yeah. So um, maybe maybe something along that lines. I don't know. We we'll figure out. So um, if anybody is around and uh, wants to join in for the Munich event, so um, that go might to Apple's and uh, that join. might actually be sold out now. So uh, it might be that uh, all of the slots are taken for the uh, NetBeans event in uh, in Munich. Yeah. So, so maybe just a couple, but uh, there might be just a couple. So if anyone's interested, I guess yeah. they better get to uh, uh, Appleton's uh, Consulting's website to yeah. register. Yeah. Yeah. It's expensive cool. though, isn't it this year? Expensive. Yeah, very expensive to. Yeah, attend. very expensive. So you very just expensive. You just show, up. To, yeah. show, show up. Yeah. Show up. Yeah. Show up and bring a uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah show bring up yourself. <laughs> bring yourself, and yeah, I think that's yeah. pretty much. Uh, and have fun. <laughs> what it takes to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Are you, gonna, are you gonna be there, Kirk? Unfortunately, yeah, I it's spirit can't, only. But we're gonna have another one in March, I think. Ah, we and, will. And I will be at, at that one. All right, that's cool. So that's yeah, but this one, um, I, I you're gonna be on your own. You'll have to carry the show by yourself. I'm I fear. Well, so so um, we got a lot of people coming. So Adam Bean will be there. I think yeah. uh, Marcus Eisel will be showing up. So yeah. So sh can enough people to people to to just say yeah, drive the show. It, yeah, it doesn't look like you're going to miss me at all. So <laughs> I'll just yeah. we'll more. miss you, yeah. but we'll manage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> all right. So, so after we've we've returned some of the favor and beaten up our heckler, thanks very much for joining us for a live yeah hacking session. You're welcome. On the thanks for having us. Stream and um, yeah, I look forward to my next trip to um, Lake Constance where we so, can yeah visit in person. Always welcome. Yeah, be be nice to see you there. <laughs> sure. <laughs>